Please. I'm not broken. No. Okay. That didn't go as planned. What is God doing here? Hey, I'm Christine, and you're watching my Kitchen Renovation Series, Episode 5. You can go back to my previous videos to see where we started and how far we've come. This week we had some progress and also some setbacks, but this whole process is just teaching me to slow down and enjoy this messy, beautiful moment no matter what happens. Good morning guys, today is countertop day and I actually have a photo shoot this morning and so I'm not gonna see it. I'm gonna miss the installation. Maybe they'll still be working when I finish, I don't know. But I gave my husband like the stuff to know, like where to put the faucet, where you know, just the little details. Um, so he'll be here for that. Um, I originally was scheduled for countertops last Friday. Today is Monday. And because um, I actually had this photo shoot on Friday and I, and I emailed her and asked her if it would be possible to move it to Monday and she was totally fine with that. And then when the countertop company moved me to Monday, I emailed my client and was like, hey, <laughs> is it possible to move to Tuesday? But they couldn't do Tuesday. Totally understand. So anyways, we're doing the photo shoot this morning. And then when I come back in, Hopefully, I'll just like all of a sudden have countertops, which would be so fun. Um, so the whole kitchen project has been on basically pause until countertops are in. Um, so I'm really kind of struggling right now with just not having a kitchen and also just like my house feeling really upended with four kids running around. Um, there's just like always a lot of activity. There's, you know, food going. There's just so much happening all the time and shoes everywhere. I really need order <laughs> in my life. And we're also getting the floors refinished, which is another looming thing that is causing me some anxiety because we have to get like a lot of our stuff out and I'm like slowly moving things to the basement and then they're gonna help us move our furniture. But like, I feel like I'm moving. I feel like I need to pack up the house Fortunately, it's easier than moving because like I don't have to actually put things in boxes. I can just sort of move things to the basement, but um, school is about to start coming up and I just want to make sure that like we get the floor is done before school starts because I do not want to be dealing with this when school starts. We have to leave our house, so we think we're going to go on like a little weekend trip and then maybe stay at, um, you know, family for a couple days because I think it's going to take five days for all of this. So we're gonna try and make it fun and a little experience for the family. <sighs> so anyways, that's the update. So this week, so Monday, you know, countertops are going in and then this whole week, they are gonna be um, doing as much as they possibly can on the kitchen um, just to see what we can get done. But there's another hold up with our cabinets because two of the panels are damaged and so I need them to send me um, a new one. And so that is putting us on pause as well. So they can't hang some of these upper cabinets. And if they were um, to finish this section, they need those cabinets done because he's gonna, we're gonna build like a DIY, um, like a custom range hood vent here. And in order to do that, he first needs to install the cabinets so that he can see exactly the space and what he's working with. So that, you know, obviously can't really happen yet. So. I feel like we're gonna be doing the floors and then there's gonna be more kitchen work after that, which is fine as long as like <laughs> it's somewhat, the floors being done will be helpful. Um, and one last huge thing to worry about. Um, so yeah, it's definitely like going slower, you know, obviously than anticipated, but still like I'm getting a kitchen. I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm even like stressing at all because this is like my dream. I've been dreaming of this for such a long time and it's happening. So whether it happens in one week or two weeks or three weeks, I mean, who really cares? It's happening. So, all right. So I'm gonna just take you through this week and show you what happens. I wanted to show you the finished mud room. We opened up a wall and as you can see, there's so much more space and we have a door that was already there so the kids can come in that door and leave all their stuff in the mud room there. 
So we added shiplap paneling here and I'm gonna add hooks all along this wall. I also wanna go to Ikea and get like those shoe, um, they're like little thin dressers and you just like, I don't know the word, it's not really a drawer, it's more of like an angled drawer. You just open it and you can like slide your shoes in and apparently it stores like tons of shoes, which is what we need. So I'm thinking I might install like two of those on this wall and then there'll be like hooks pictures, you know, cute stuff. Um, there's a lot of room here to just like experiment with. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I'm curious what you guys think about the color. This is accessible beige at 75% and that is alabaster. I ended up changing the trim color for the kitchen because I was feeling like this was maybe too much contrast for the kitchen because there's just like a lot of different colors already in the kitchen. So I decided to change that to a color called duck white. It was just sort of the closest match I could find to our kitchen island. Might be breaking some design rules in the kitchen by adding like different color cabinets, different color trim. I don't know. I, this is my first time designing a kitchen and I think I like it, <laughs> but we'll see when we get to the end. If I need to like repaint the trim in the future, that's really not a big deal. But I love the cabinet color. Um, I think I love the island or the buffet color. You know, it's hard to tell. I feel like once the countertops are down and like the backs, you know, the backsplash is another color factor. I'm hoping I can like see it and it will all tie together. After my photo shoot, I came in to see these beautiful countertops put down. However, I was bummed that they weren't able to install them near the sink, and I'll explain why in a minute. But look how gorgeous they are. This is a dolomite, and it was more affordable than every other stone I looked at, so it was a no-brainer for us. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> my counters are here. I missed everything. There is gonna be a slight delay because the sink counters, they couldn't install it. And that's because the sink was just a little bit too high on the cabinet and it needs to be brought down so it's completely flush. If they were to put the counters on it, it might cause the counters to break. And so the guy said he, was, you know, he wasn't gonna do it, which I'm glad, I'm glad that he, you know, had like the attention to detail to know that. Um, so we just gotta make some adjustments you know, it's a bummer to not see it like all down, but oh well. The good news is I love the counters. They're so gorgeous. So this is shadow stone marble and it is a dolomite. So it's a harder marble. And um, so it's more resistant to, um, you know, it's less porous. It's, it's just more durable for families. It's sealed really good, so the sealer is going to last three years, and then after that, I need to maintain it. I did get the stone honed because I love that just like matte look. I just think the texture looks so like real and raw. I love it. Um, so, so yeah, we're we're slowly getting there. A lot more needs to be done, but counters are starting to go in. They're gorgeous, exactly what I was hoping for. It didn't take me long at all to start using the counters. The outlets were working and so I just went ahead and put my slow cooker in there and we were making tacos on this night. I have been making a lot of just super easy foods and I've been relying on a little bit more convenience foods like pre-made tortillas and frozen pizzas and frozen chicken nuggets. But I'm still cooking and I'm trying to make big batches of things so that it will last us a couple days. When I make taco meat, I usually season it with cumin, oregano, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and chili powder and smoked paprika. I just recently bought some small mason jars and some lids for them to use as spice jars. So once the new kitchen's done, I'm going to organize my spices. I have a nice little pull out cabinet and the top is open. So my idea is all of the spices will be easy to access and I won't have to open up all these little bottles. And I'm gonna keep the teaspoons and you know measuring spoons right there in that cabinet. And no one is allowed to use them for anything else. I think it will help with cooking and make things go just a lot faster. I want to do this. Ready? 
eat all that? Nice. Try it today. So after a couple of days, the countertops were set to come back again. That morning I did have another photo shoot, but this time I didn't miss the install because they were coming in the afternoon. So during the day, my contractors were doing everything that they could do without the countertops being installed yet. So he's working on the island, cabinet doors, and the shiplap, and just any extra details that he can take care of before counters arrive. So I was just sitting around waiting for them to bring in the second piece and I was just chatting with Oscar about something and looking outside and just waiting and it was taking a long time. my kitchen reveal is not going to be happening anytime soon unfortunately um, they came to drop off the stone and then unfortunately one of the pieces was just rattled too many times in the truck because they had to bring it here and then bring it back and then bring it here again and they took it out to put it you know store it and there was like one piece by the sink that was you know thinner because it's cut around the sink and there was a fissure which is normal, but when you know it gets rattled around a lot, sometimes that can kind of open up. So they could fix it ish, but it'll still show. Um, but he told me, you know, I have the right to say, no, I don't want this stone. And for they would have to go find like basically this similar, almost the same as best that they can stone, recut it and install. And he even said that like, they might do it for this long piece too. Um, so you see. Um, because they want to make sure that it matches so he told me just to sit tight wait a few hours they're gonna do some work on their end and then they'll call me um, my my contractor was really waiting for today so that he could start working on like the backsplash and just different things and he knows that like I keep getting my hopes up and then it keeps not happening so he was like, Christine, <laughs> he felt bad for me. Um, 
So instead of, you know, working on the backsplash, I said, you know, it'd be really great if we could just get like doors and drawers and like as much of that done as we can because we're gonna be leaving next week. We're, we have a hotel booked and we're staying at family as well. We're gonna be leaving for the whole week um, so that they can do the floors. And so all the stuff we have to get out. <laughs> we have to get it downstairs, we have to move everything. And I just don't have anywhere to put like my kitchen stuff. And so if we can get all of that done, then I can at least put my kitchen stuff away into the cabinets and it'll just feel better for me to have a little bit of order to have things put away um, before we like move on to the next thing and we make more of a mess. <laughs> um, so it's okay, I think everything happens for a reason and I wonder, you know, what God has in store for me. Like he's probably got an even better stone for me that's gonna go right there, even though I loved that piece. I was so excited about that corner piece. I, I know whenever things like this happen that God is bringing good out of it and you know um, I'm fortunate to have a, this beautiful kitchen being made for me um, so many blessings here so like I'm not I'm not upset I'm, I'm a little bummed I'm just more curious to see what God is doing um, that's how I like to look at every every little obstacle in my life okay that didn't go as planned what is God doing here so anyways That's it. Cheers. All right, so we did get some progress done today though. The shiplap is up. One of the upper cabinets is up. I'm loving how it looks. I feel like this room is gonna be so cozy and perfect. Um, I, for the shiplap, um, I was planning to paint it white, like the walls, but they actually painted it the trim color, which is duck white. And I didn't even think of it, you know, they just went and did it, I wasn't paying attention, but I actually really like this, and I'm glad that they did it, and I think I'm going to keep this. Um, I think it adds some extra coziness to this little nook. There's going to be some shelves here as well, like a wooden shelf here, two of them. So, this whole area, oh, this whole area is going to be very pretty. Peek at the counter here. Real quick, look how good the paint color looks next to this countertop. My daughters will not go to bed. They found out that I was baking, and so they were refused to not be a part of this. So I decided I'm making sourdough banana bread because. You have to let it ferment overnight, and um, I have these overripe bananas that I need to use, so I figured I would use my island. <laughs> my island. My island. <laughs> my island. <laughs> In front of me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, will you get me, let's see, will you get me a plastic bag? Okay. I actually need more than that. <laughs> like, there's a big, there's like a bag. I'll take that, because it has a scooper in it helpful. Just bring me the big bag. Yay! Alright. <laughs> Is that the one that's open? Yeah. yeah. So we need a half cup of butter, a half cup of sourdough starter, which I don't have enough, but I'm going to use what I have. And then, oh, I have new sourdough jar. Yay. I do. I do. I'll show you. My island. My island. <laughs> okay, so in my weck jar, I'm gonna start using this for my sourdough starter. Two cups of flour. Two cups. Okay, you can use this. So four cups. Yeah. Yeah. Two cups. Okay. 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 Two cups.
and I also just love that my daughters are around the island with me and we're baking together. This is honestly like one of those core memories for me, like something I will never forget and something I hope we do a lot more often. Yeah, the camera's already dirty for the first time. For the first time forever. I get to wash the countertops. Yeah. We're gonna put it, are we gonna have sugar? Tomorrow. We're gonna have sugar? Yeah. yeah. Can you go get those bananas, those ripe bananas, and bring them over here? Yeah. And now, can you put this in? All right, that's it. We'll come back in the morning and, and finish this. The next morning I had a new helper and he was here to mash up the bananas for me. So because this is sourdough banana bread, I just mixed together the butter, flour, eggs, and starter. And that just sat in the bowl overnight and I stuck it in the fridge. So even though it was in the fridge, it was slowly fermenting. And I think sourdough everything, like anything with sourdough in it, it enhances the flavor so much. And it feels good to use up these like mushy, gross bananas. It's amazing to me that even these disgusting looking bananas <laughs> make the best banana bread. And it felt good just to get rid of it. The dough was so tough that I had to pour it into the stand mixer because there was no way we were gonna be mixing this by hand. This is just what happens when you make sourdough banana bread. It's just a bit of a different method. This recipe is from farmhouseonboon.com. I love all of her recipes. Every single one I've tried has been really easy with simple ingredients and it just works. And now I can't possibly get through this video without a huge shout out to my Breville toaster oven. This little oven is carrying us through this kitchen renovation. I cook with it every single day, multiple times a day. It is basically a mini oven and I can make loaves of bread in it as well. We love this thing so much that I designed a cutout in our cabinets in the island so that I could just put it in there. Since we don't have room for a double oven in our kitchen, I use the Breville as my other oven. So I will link that below. I've been using this for years and years and this is just my honest, my honest opinion. I love it. The banana bread turned out so great. Everyone ate it up, including me, and it was gone before lunchtime. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me for another video and I will see you next time.